obviously I know the report about Miles has gotten out to you guys. Obviously he came into the facility uh, yesterday um, not feeling well, and we immediately uh, placed him in a concussion protocol. Uh, I was surprised to hear it, but then again, I'm like, you know what, it's, that's the sport that we play. The concussion protocol is what it is. You never know how someone's going to go through it. But, um, you know, Miles is a heck of a player. It's the reason he was the number one uh, you know, draft pick in this last uh, draft. Um, you know, but we also played very well without him in the beginning of the season. So if that's how it is and we're going to make the proper adjustments, the next guy's going to step up into a very good defensive scheme and, and play well. Um, but if he is there, we're going to expect those same big plays out of him. He's going to be the spark of this team that he always has been. Um, it's just about making sure that he's healthy and, and um, you know, making the right decisions on that on that side of things. Uh, Miles, he's, he's he has a, a positive attitude, uh, you know. So it's just it's just a minor setback, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not worried about Miles uh, mentally. I know that he'll stay in it. He's grinding. Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate. You know, uh, with the things that's happening. But uh, as long as you, you know keep staying positive and, you know, everybody on the team having that same mindset, uh, you know, standing behind our brothers, uh, you know, you just got to, you know, keep pushing and keep grinding. Absolutely. A guy who, um, who's come in here and done everything right since he's been here has had some, some bad luck. And um, all I can do is as a teammate and a friend, just continue to encourage him to get back out there because he knows that um, when he's at his best and when he's 100 percent healthy, he's one of the better players in this league. and He's only a rookie. Um, so with that, you know, it's, it's about making sure.